Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 inside of my Casita 2019 Freedom Deluxe 17-foot RV from Casita Enterprises in Rice, Texas. But this video will apply not only to Casita, but to other RV manufacturers as well, because what I'm going to do is show you some of the things that I think can be improved on, not only on this unit, but on all and a lot of other travel trailers as well. Now I'll go outside. I'm in Capitan, New Mexico at Mama Bear RV Park. And again, I'll show you a few things. Number one, outside, this travel trailer comes with the screw down jacks that were mounted right up under here. But as you can see, they're not there anymore. I took them off. Why? Because this unit does not have the high lift package. Uh, you can get the high lift package, which raises it up about four inches, which would give those screw down jacks plenty of clearance. But again, I've taken them off and I've just gone to these basic deal so any of you that are buying a travel trailer no matter from who if it has those screw down jacks and it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance all you've bought is a problem because when you go in and out of gas stations you're probably going to drag them off uh anyway and also if you go boondocking dispersed camping etc down a rutted road goodbye screw down jacks uh, anyway that's where the battery compartment is this came with a lead acid battery uh series 27 uh, 80 amp hours. I replaced it with a battery I had which is an AGM battery. Again, it came with a lead acid. I added a AGM battery. I would recommend that all of you guys that are going to buy a travel trailer upgrade to the AGM battery. Why? Because they're maintenance free. Another thing I would recommend Casita to take a thought on is the gray water drain is slow. Slow as mud. I know you know it. Uh, but I don't know what you can do. They make a, af a aftermarket thing. You can change it. But uh, but as far as the rest of the outside, I'm good to go on that. We'll talk. You know, I love the Max Air vent fan. That's the greatest thing since fried chicken. Another upgrade I would recommend that you all go to, no matter whose travel trailer you buy, is the power hitch here. It's going to be about a $150 option, maybe, or you can buy one for that amount. And also get you a good hitch lock. Why? Well, if they're going to steal it, make them go to a little trouble anyway. Now we'll go inside. You can see I've got one step. If you go to the high lift package on any RV, you're going to have two steps. Or else you're going to have to get uh, a little footstool or something to get in and out. And now we'll go in. Another thing I want to mention while I'm outside, this is a Dometic. See, this is the, for the refrigerator vent right here. This has a Dometic four cubic, four cubic foot refrigerator, and it has a little fan that whenever the temperature inside of there gets over a certain temperature this little fan cuts on uh, i'm not too i'm not in love with that little fan all right it's the first time i've ever had one that had that vent fan and i find it kind of irritating when you're boondocking or dry camping and it's really quiet and then all of a sudden this fan cuts on another thing if you're six foot one or six foot over six feet entering and exiting a casita can be a, a head bump okay and and the thing i don't like Right here, this is pretty sh a sharp edge, and those little screws, uh, they fit well in your brain because that's where you're going to hit it, and, and also right in here. Now, they've got a bumper pad on the other side, but it needs to be down like this, okay? So when you, so if you, if you hit it, you don't hit this metal rim. But anyway, if, if you're under 5 foot 10, you don't have a problem at all. But anyway, we're going in now, and I'll show you a few other things. But again, all these sharp edges need to be, all these sharp edges need to be eliminated. If you can get something that's rounded, great. I'm sure you can if you want to, but, you know, may cost you a penny, manufacturers. Now we'll go into the bathroom. This is a casita. That little thing leaks. I'm going to have it fixed at Rice, Texas. I don't think they can do much about that, but we'll find out. Uh, anyway, what else could I say? You can see right here I've added this little head bump deal, okay? But these little edges right here are like razors, okay? They're, this is a really sharp corner, and, uh, you know... If you bump it, for you old folks, you know what happens to your skin, don't you? You bleed under your skin. But anyway, uh, that's about all I can tell you about this. You know, the foot, uh, the shower's great. It's okay. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I don't have any, I, knew, I mean, you, you know, for me, I'm six foot uh, one. Uh, I used to be six foot two, but I'm getting older. I'm 74, so I'm starting to shrink. And that thing, you, if you get you, uh, if you have a, a wet bath, be sure and get you one of those teak wood uh, pallets there you know that, that that's really a help what else can i tell you another thing is uh cabinets cabinets oh yeah cabinets now the, these cabinets here all have sharp edges now but over here it's not too bad that's not a problem that they have sharp edges over there however 
this thing right here, this thing right here is a killer. Now, if you have a microwave oven, you wouldn't have this door. You see this right here I put there? The reason is, is because this was down like this, and I was sitting in the swivel chair here, and I leaned over to get something out of the refrigerator and put a googer in my head, so to speak. So anyway, Casita and all you other manufacturers, round the corners if you can. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that, and that doesn't cost that much, I'm sure. But rounding the carpet, you know, no sharp edges. Just eliminate uh, sharp edges on cabinets. You know, these down here, again, that's not a big issue. But again, rounded edges probably wouldn't be a bad deal. Um, also, for Casita and anybody that has an entryway like similar to this, if you could add a grab handle... So, see, what I do when I come in now, I grab in here and pull myself in, okay? There's the entry door. I reach up here, pull myself in. I'm wondering if there's some way they could put a, a grab handle up here that wouldn't be in too much in the way, but I see that, you know, it's got the carpet there, but maybe, a, I mean, I can't add a grab handle there, but if they put it in during manufacturing process where it was in a convenient spot for me or us older folks, it'd be a big help, or for anybody to pull yourself in. So what else can I tell you? Uh, on the casita, uh, this towel rack is right at bump height, okay? Now, I'm thinking that that could be raised up, and at least you, you could put it, put it right where it'll clear this right here, you know, like right in here somewhere. Uh, that would probably be better. Uh, maybe I'll add another one. I'm not sure, but just a thought. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, if you put two on there, you could add a another towel and again this this doesn't apply only to casita but to any manufacturer you know add those little things that 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 will help uh anyway let's see uh oh yeah the tv mount this rv is d uh, designed for the head of the bed to be over here okay so you can watch the tv over there which i don't have i don't watch tv so i have the head of my bed over here. Why do I do that? Well, because I've got a beautiful view out that window, that window, and out this window. If I'm facing the opposite direction, I've got I've just got the view of this window and this window, so it just adds to the view. Also, another thing, or you know, I don't know if you you might want to make that optional so you could move it from this side to this side. I doubt they're going to do that, but anyway. Now the swivel chairs and the casita are very nice. You know, they're very comfortable, well padded. You know, I mean, they're, they're very high quality uh, swivel chairs. I got two of them, and this is in the Freedom Deluxe model. The Liberty model doesn't come with this. It comes with bench chairs. But for those of you that get the swivel chairs, be no on notice that they take up a lot of space. As you can see where my legs are, I mean, the, the walking space between the swivel chair when it's turned facing the cabinets or the kitchen sink, you've got about maybe two feet you know what i mean not that not that that's bad for one person it's fine for two people it'd be total misery but what i'm thinking is is if you had an option to get a smaller swivel chair like a bar stool type thing with armrests you know and uh that takes up much less space uh, that might be something to look at in fact i'm going to look at doing it myself and then over here uh that May that chair may come out entirely, and I'll just build some shelves and stuff in there and add to the table area. But again, for you for you dealers and or excuse me manufacturers, uh, the major point of this video is to point if if you can just eliminate sharp edges, you know that is so helpful. You know, like this right here, this this molding is just like a razor blade on either side. All right, and uh, yeah, I've bumped that a few times, and again, it it, it does scrape you. And again, this right up in here, uh, where you know, right here, th this is this is a sharp edge, guys. And have I hit it? Yeah, I've hit it. They've got the bumper pad up here, but I've never hit the bumper pad. You know, it needs to be down where, where you're going to hit. You know what I mean? But be that as it may, they did try, and I'm sure some people have hit that pad a number of times. But again, I'm six foot one. The interior height of this particular unit is six foot one and a half. The uh, 16 foot model at Casita is five foot ten. Not only is it a foot shorter, it, it's a little bit shorter on the inside height. So what else can I say? Let me think a minute, see if I've missed anything. Uh, 
really I can't think of a thing offhand. Let's see, let me go on my list. No sharp edges, you know, on the cabinets and so forth. Swivel chairs, smaller and, you know, possibly. Uh, the fridge fan, da 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 da. Raise the towel rack. Gray water drain. Faster. Oh, here's a couple of things. I just remembered them. Uh, this is an aftermarket item I bought. This little plastic cover right here. Uh, but it's designed for this refrigerator, but it's so it's an aftermarket item. And what it does is it covers these switches over here, all right? So that you don't accidentally lean against the refrigerator or bump against the refrigerator and turn it off. Have I ever had that happen? Yes. That's why I got this cover. It works. Over here you have the uh, on-off switch for the 12-volt pump. Have I ever accidentally turned it on? Yeah. <clears throat> Sure I have. Now they, they make an aftermarket cover uh, that you can add. I haven't done that yet, and, but I, and if it becomes an issue, I will. But those are two things that could be done <clears throat> uh, at Casita or, or any any RV manufacturer that uh, wants to satisfy the customer. But you know, again, or at least have them available, you know, and then show it on your options that you know you can get this little cover here for 10 bucks or whatever installed and then something to cover this so you don't bump that and knock turn the switch on uh, but other than that the casita I, lo I love my casita i've been in it nearly a year i bought it october last year i'm going through rice texas uh pretty soon to uh <clears throat> have a little work done and uh yeah, just some, bunch, some I, could I do them myself? Some of them I could, one of them I can't. So, I, I, that, and that's to uh, the wire that uh, was uh, replaced because the refrigerator uh, wasn't switching from AC to propane. They had to replace the wire, and when they replaced the wire, I don't have an entry light or an outside light. They're both connected to the same thing. Enough said about that. What else could I say? Uh, just remember, when you're buying any small RV, you're getting what you pay for. Uh, <clears throat> the Casita is well-made. It tows easy. It's 2,450 pounds. Uh, I had a Coachman 16-foot Clipper Cadet 2018 for one year, and uh, it, it had more storage, had more interior height, had a better bath. It, it wasn't a wet bath. It was like a full bath. But if of the two, if I had, you know, doing it over, do you know, do overs or whatever you call it, uh, I'd still buy this. There's no doubt. No, this is a much better unit for old Rusty. But having said that, yeah, if, if uh, some of you think of other things that these manufacturers can do, another thing they could do, I know they're not going to do it. Casita, pat yourself on the back. The quality of your cabinets is good. You know, this is this is pretty good stuff. It, it's pretty solid. Okay. Every cabinet is pretty solid. The hinges, so far I've had any problem with these little hinges. Great. Uh, the, this drawer right here slides in and out really easy. Uh, that's wonderful. And you got storage underneath. Now this is where the uh, furnace would be if I'd have got a furnace. But my unit comes with an AC and it also has a heat strip, 1500 watts. And in Central Texas where I live, that's plenty for all I need. I've also got a little uh, Pelonis, P-E-L-O-N-I-S, uh, electric heater about a I don't know six I think on low it's 400 watts and it goes up to 800 but that, that's all I need for heat I didn't get a microwave don't need it I don't have an oven don't need it or it, you can't get an oven on a casita anyway but having said that guys from uh, my casita I just thought I'd want to I just touch on these things but yeah be sure and get the uh, AGM battery if it's an option and uh, there, there's my stand that I use for doing my morning videos. I, I changed out the beans. I moved up to, to North, Great Northern Beans and uh, uh, Dice uh, Tomatoes. And what else? But having said that, guys, uh, overall, I give my casita a nine. I love it because uh, I've, I've made it a home. But as far as these swivel chairs, will I change them? I'm going to look at some options there because... Uh, it would free up some space, particularly over here, since I never use that, never have any company at all. And uh, yeah, that that'll probably I'll probably move that one out and make me some storage in there because yeah, it makes it more like a home. But anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpet damn, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, uh, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. Doesn't cost you one penny. Drink plenty of waters. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. Take deep breaths. Breathe in. You know, hold it for a few seconds and breathe out. Lower stress. Lowers your blood pressure. 
and then uh, stretch, walk, you know, uh, stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life. You know what I mean? And, and I think a lot about all these little things. And, you know, if I was the manufacturer, what could I tweak? And uh, yeah, I, I could I could definitely tweak the sharp edges and that little cabinet right there. You need to round the edges on it for sure. The rest of them, uh, not too bad, except for the this one right here. Because when it opens, it comes down like this. It opens down. And if you open that and leave it down and you're laying here in bed like I am sometimes, you can raise up and hit that. I Have I bumped it? Yes. But I haven't hit a sharp corner yet. But, the, you know, it's like winning the lottery. But, yeah, if you can just round the edges and, uh, you know, make that molding a little less sharp. Anyway, stand guard at the door of your mind, guys. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye.